Hey guys, it's John Wood and I'm at East Rosebud Fly and Tackle in Billings, Montana. I'm going to do another video for you. This one I'm going to do a little fly called the Twisted Damsel. It's pretty simple and it only uses four materials. Hook, eyes, marabou, and uh, tinsel. Five, I guess, if you count the thread. Anyway, let's get started. This is a really, really good um, late spring and summer trout fly in still waters and uh, this fly gets used a lot in the south for pan fish and it does very very well so my thread is a 6 aught uni light olive obviously obviously you can do this in other colors this is just seems to be the most productive color now I'm going to start my thread right behind the eye and go all the way to the bend of the hook and I'm going to leave my thread tag on there because we're going to use that as a rib and then I'll run that thread back forward and then build up a base for my bead chain eyes. And these are small. And this is uh, a bright green. I like it just because it's, it's flashy. If you want a little more contrast, you can use a darker green, black, red, whatever you want. I'll strap those on there like this. And as you might guess, with those eyes on top like that, on top of the hook shank, it's going to cause the fly to ride upside down with the hook point up. So I'm going to run back to the hook bend again. And then I've got two strands of crystal flash, and I've got them in one of these little spring clips just to hold them and keep them under control. Gonna strap those on, go forward, and then right back to where I was. Now to measure the length on this, I'm gonna fold it forward and just cut it right in front of the hook eye. And that sets my length, and that's also gonna set the length for my tail. Now the tail and the body are made with just marabou barbs. For the tail, I want these barbs with really long pointed tips and it, it can be fluffier with longer barbules towards the base of the barbs that's not really important on these but it is more so for the body so I'm going to strip off about a quarter inch or so of those barbs right off of the right off of the quill and then measure it so that the tip of the barbs are now at the tip of that crystal flash and that's going to set my length for the tail. Just tie that in, strap it forward just a little bit. And then I'm just going to wrap this excess around here and then come around under the bottom between the eyes. Fold that thread forward, lock that down, cut that off. Now I'm going to bring my thread back. And I'm not going all the way to the bend on this. I don't know if you can actually see that, but I'm a little short of where I wrapped the tail down in place. There's a reason for that, and I'll show you that now. Now for the body, I'm using barbs, and I want to use the longer side. I want to get as much length as I can, about three, three and a half inches if possible. And you can see the barbules on the base of these things are really long and fluffy, and that's what's going to form the thorax on the fly. Now this time I'm going to take a little bit more than a quarter of an inch, uh, not quite as three eighths. You don't want to get too carried away because if you get too much, the barbules just clump together. And that's what I've got right there. I'm going to moisten these just a little bit so they kind of stay together. Now I'm going to measure like from the eye of the hook back to the bend of the hook and that's going to be my tie in point and I'm going to overlap that on the tail. Let me get it locked in place here and I'll show you what we've got. Okay so I made that and I think you can see that right there that these are a little bit shorter and I'm just adding bulk to that section of the tail. Now I've got my thread forward of the back of the tie in point for the tail so I'm going to make one wrap looping it back to that point 
fold these marabou barbs over and then lock that in place and you can see where that fold is. Now I've tried doing this without the fold and if you do it without the fold when you start to twist them and pull them forward you end up pulling that out. So that's the reason for that little fold there. Now I'm going to lock that down and I want to build up a little bit of a thread transition here between that fold and the shank of the hook and then bring the thread forward in front of the eyes. Now I've got my thread tag here and I'm going to bring it up alongside the barbs, cut it to about the same length, and then just twist these barbs together. Once I get it started, I'm going to use my rotary hackle pliers, spin them together, and that's going to give me a nice tapered fuzzy rope of marabou. Now I'm just going to wrap this forward and touching wraps and I think you can probably see the segmentation that that creates and then as you get forward just take a couple of wraps right there at the head I'm a little too far on that one so I'm going to back that off because I want to get a lot of those barbules between the eyes right up on the top where the top is now but it'll be the bottom when you're fishing it. Get that tied in. I want to take a few wraps in front and then clip it off. Use a little moisture. Build that head right there really nice and big. And then give her a little whip finish. Cut my thread. And that, my friends, is a twisted damsel.